coming here. Life after money. Now, quite a few people ask me about my frugal journey and how it started. And I'll just tell you this little story. I was in my mid-fifties and I wasn't enjoying my job as much as I had been. And um, don't get me wrong, I I absolutely love being a lorry driver. But by the time, after so many years of trucking up and down the road, by the time I got to my mid-fifties, I just wasn't enjoying it as much. So I have the attitude that if I'm not enjoying something, then I just stopped doing it. But I couldn't stop working because I needed to pay the bills and I needed to pay the mortgage. So what I did was cut my working hours down to part time. Um, I was working for an agency so I could choose when and where I worked. And if I didn't feel like working one day, I would just tell the agency that I wasn't available. And then it did work both ways as well. There were some days when I really could have done with some work, but they didn't have any for me. But I didn't mind that actually, because I was then finding other things to do. So a cut in working hours meant a cut in wages as well. So um, by the time I got to 60, which is when my state pension kicked in, my <laughs> my savings were non-existent they were nil i had none left i had no money left i got about one mortgage payment left in the bank um my attitude was that if i didn't spend any money then i wouldn't have to earn it so i decided that time was more important than earning money so I adjusted my spending I absolutely stopped spending um, because what uh, what did I need to spend money on <coughs> and um, I only needed to spend money on paying the mortgage mortgage has always been a priority with me after so many years of owning three different houses I have never missed a mortgage payment. Um, need to pay for utilities, need to pay for gas and electricity, they have to be paid, have to pay council tax, it has to be paid. But everything else I could find ways of cutting down on the spending. I stopped spending on anything that I didn't actually need. So it was just an overnight thing really. It was a gradual winding down of realising that if uh, if I didn't spend money then I wouldn't have to earn it. But then overnight I thought that's it. Stop spending. Just no more spending. Do not go to the shops. <laughs> Unless I actually need to go and buy some food of course. Um, no browsing shops. No uh, impulse spending. It all had to stop and I only then bought what I actually needed. Um, and I think at that time I started to write a blog about that. Now um, the blog started as just recording my diary really. It's, it's just an online diary. I mean I've always written diaries in paper form. I've got diaries back to 1963 64 um, they're all upstairs I've still got them but um, and of course with the computer net now we can have online diaries so that's what I did it was an online diary to record my money saving trip um, my frugal living my simple lifestyle my cutting back my stop spending um, so that's how it started really. Spending I think can become a habit and it's not a very good habit to have. It's very much like, um, it's an addiction basically. Spending money is, is, is an addiction. It's just like um, eating too much, drinking too much, smoking too much. 
um, you, you can easily get addicted to spending but um, I've never been in that situation um, I've never been in debt so I can't say that my frugalness came about through trying to get out of debt because I've never been in debt but it's just that when I hit that 55-ish mark um, I thought something's got to change I was fed up of sitting on the M62 motorway in my big 40-ton truck with another traffic jam in front of me oh here we go again we're stopped on the motorway and I was sitting waiting crawling along and I thought I could be doing something better with my time so that's when I just cut down my hours um, the blog yeah the blog's been going about 10 years now and um, people have found it obviously <laughs> people read it <laughs> and uh, but but the thing is I never started the blog to make money it was just a diary um, there's no adverts on my blog and I don't do sponsored this or sponsored that I don't I don't accept freebies in return for a write-up about it I just don't do that um, my blog is about making the most of the money you've already got it's not about making more money because when I hit 60 I thought wow I'm free I'm free from work I don't have to go to work and now I can do what I like with my time but my time then was spent on looking for the best bargains um, the making the most of the money I've got my pension kicked in at 60 my state pension and um, it was actually quite a relief to find that money was appearing in my bank account that the government was giving me after all those years of 45 years of, of working and paying my taxes it was quite exciting to know that now the government are paying me thank you very much after I've given you all this money um, so now I'm I'm just on the on the uh, verge of approaching 70 years old so I'm I'm have been retired a, a couple of weeks short of 10 years so and long may this continue but but the yeah the blog I'm um, I, I like it when I can help people if people read my blog and find something interesting on it and, and my money saving tips are on there and it's basically all about how I live my life I'm not telling anybody else how to live their life because they're different to me they're not me I can't say you do this you do that because why sh why would I why should I tell somebody else what to do everybody is responsible for their own life I am responsible for my life I'm responsible for making the best that I can of my life and that's that's just what I do if somebody finds something useful in that well that's great you know don't I don't I'm not telling you to do what I do but I'm saying this is what I do and it works for me so if you want to find my blog it is oh it's a long address www.meanqueen slash hyphen life after money dot blogspot dot com or co uk i don't think it matters which actually <laughs> been writing it 10 years and i still can't remember the address <laughs> but anyway if you want to have a look at my blog there you go so it's breakfast time and breakfast today is cereal brown flakes um, now what I do is put nuts and seeds in a mini chopper nuts seeds and dry fruit and on the top I've got a banana and yogurt and it's got soy milk on it so there's my breakfast my fruity cereal breakfast all right
Right, May Queen, Life After Money. A little bit of a history lesson there. <laughs> Bye! Yum, yum.